Hey everyone, it's Ben Hardy here, and in today's video, we'll be reviewing a BMW X5 M60i. Before we get into this video, I want to give a huge shout out and thank you to the BMW of Pleasant Grove for giving me some time with this car. I'll include a link to their website in the description down below. If you have any questions or need any help, just ask for Brendan. Also, include a link to my car buying guide. Let's get into it. Under the hood, we have a twin turbo 4.4 liter V8 that goes through an eight speed automatic transmission. Fuel economy 17 around town, and then 22 on the highway with power outputs, being 523 horsepower and then 553 pound feet of torque. Now, before we move forward with this review, I do wanna mention if you wanna see more videos just like this, then I recommend you subscribe because I post content every single day. So starting with the hood, you guys can see how it's kind of raised there on either side with those little lines. I think it's pretty cool looking. And then the new headlights here with the X5, I think look really sharp. And they got a little M there in the blacked out grill and then blacked out trim at the bottom. And that's all for the front. Now around the side here, our terminal setup is 275 by 35 by 22 in the front, and then 315 by 30 by 22 in the rear. And you can see here with the wheels, you got the silver mixed with the blacked out trim, red with the brake caliper, which is really cool. So the body painted fender flare here, and then notice that blacked out trim piece. Got the little M logo there on the side. And then all the window trim, the mirror cap also blacked out. There's your side profile. And this leads us to the key fob. We've got our lock and remote start function with the M colors. You've got your unlock, the opening for the hatch as well, and pop her open. Now popping into the back, you can see we've got this little button here. That lowers the suspension, by the way, but this one lowers the little tailgate. Now I've got plenty of storage here in the back. We also have a cargo cover here in the rear as well. This is pretty cool. A little charging port in the rear. And when you're all done, just press this and that will close it all together. That's cool with the taillight design. Kind of looks like swords. M60i badge. You can see with the exhaust tips here at the bottom, pretty aggressive. And that's the rest of the rear. Now take a look at the door panel in the rear. You can see we've got a sunshade for the rear passengers. Look at this. Trim is really nice. I like this too that goes through. And then for the window control, some speakers here for the sound system. And then here are the seats. Preferred it all throughout the center. And legroom is great. Got a little storage pocket here, USB port. We've got heated seats in the back. We have our own climate zone as well for either side. It's a nice feature. By the way, these seats are comfortable. And good headroom back here. Now take a look at the front door panel. You can see again with the trim here and with the ambient lighting, all of our window controls. Got our mirror adjustments. The mirrors do power fold in. Memory seat function. We got massaging seats too. Blind spot monitoring for the mirrors. And then you can see the rest of the trim here. All of our adjustments there on the side. And then set the pedal layout down below. And that's cool with the light controls. And the nice trim on the dash. Now take a look at the steering wheel. We've got nice trim all around. M colors on the center with the little M logo right there. Pedal shifters here on the back. We've got practical controls like our cruise control. And then you can see with the stocks in the back. Full digital gauge cluster here. Shows you a bunch of different bits of information on this. And the cool thing is when you change the drive modes, it'll change kind of how that cluster looks, depending on which mode you have selected. 360 camera system with this. Pretty good resolution, if you ask me. And then as for the rest of the infotainment system, quick response time overall. So that's, yeah, that's cool, YouTube. Uh, you've got Android Auto and Apple CarPlay with it. Uh, and then also notice your climate controls are accessed through here. So we're gonna turn up that ventilated seat, full blast. Got some trim that goes across here and you see the nice stitching and everything on the dash. And then more of that trim goes with the M logo. This is cool with the vents to adjust them. And then you can see down below with the analog controls for the radio. Little storage area here with more of that nice trim on top. Here's a quick look at the big control stack. So a nice crystal with the shifter there, but analog control for the infotainment system, little crystal shifter for your transmission select, right? 
and then if your stability control, parking sensors, engine stop start, drive modes here with your hill descent control and your auto hold. And then this is for the suspension to adjust it up or down. And then, nice for the center console. I like this trim on the top. And then the glove box, good storage inside there. And then we've got a panoramic center and the nice trim up top. Tons of glare, so you guys won't really be able to see the window sticker, but base MSRP is 90,000 on the dot. Total MSRP in this one's 100 and, man, I can't even see the glare. 108,700 bucks. And, woo, the camera. Freaked out. Come back, camera. There we go. <laughs> Let's see how it drives. Let's talk about visibility before you set off. Here's the visibility over the hood. Both the mirrors do have blind spot monitoring. Both the rest of the rear. And crystal little shifter thing, whatever you want to call it, away. This is a cool car. Again, the M Sports, typically the sweet spot with BMW because you've got lots of power Lots and lots of power, but you don't have the crazy stiff suspension of a full-on M car. They still kind of keep things luxury. It's got massaging seats too. Also, I want you guys to see this green color. So it's like British racing green on the X5. Look how cool that looks. That's like the best looking color I think I've ever seen on an X5. Just that, yeah, the dark greens look so good. But moving along. Hmm, solid power so far. Suspension's nice and floaty. See, that, again, this still has the Lux suspension feel that you don't really get in the M version. Look at that, I used my turn signal in a BMW. The world can't handle it. Yeah, I mean, these roads aren't a great, you know, show of suspension comfort, but still does a pretty good job for having such big wheels. The seats are just comfy. I like it. I'd say it's a pretty nice drive overall. I'm trying to see if there's anything that, I mean, they, they, this X5 just does everything so well. Swell. That's probably where that word came from. Got a little acceleration with this. Got little pops out of the back. It's fun. Yeah. BMW makes such great engines. So, in summary, with this X5 M60i, yeah, I do think this is a BMW sweet spot, especially for an X5. Again, this is like a big family SUV. Not everyone uses these as family SUVs, but I mean, big trunk space. Big back seat, big vehicle. So just having a big V8 under the hood, lots of power, and still having comfortable suspension, luxury features, that's that's what makes sense with the X5. So I, I do think that the M60 is still the sweet spot. Don't get me wrong, the X5M is a really cool car. It's fast, it's powerful, but you know, it's firmer. And so you do concede for going uh, to the full on M version. So let me know which one you would go with, uh, but I think this is probably the better route to go.